हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड टेकिंग केयर ऑफ योर हेल्थ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक चैप्टर नंबर थ्री ऑफ क्लास इज साइंस सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स एंड प्लास्टिक बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द चैप्टर लेट मी आस्क यू अ फ्यू क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन कैन यू टेल मी हाउ द क्लोज दैट वी वी आर मेड येस द आंसर इज राइट द क्लोज दैट वी वी आर are made from fabric and fabric is made up of fibers now the next question how many types of fibers are there so answer is right there are two type of fibers natural fibers and artificial or means synthetic fibers students can you name some of the natural fibers yes the answer is right wool cotton jute and silk so students you already know about the natural fibers today we are going to learn about synthetic or man made fibers in detail we shall learn synthetic fibers types of synthetic fibers characteristic of synthetic fibers plastics and the environment students do you know what synthetic fibers are Let us get knowledge about synthetic fibers. A fiber that is made by human beings is called synthetic or man-made fiber. Some of the examples of synthetic fiber are rayon, nylon, polyester and acrylic. Students, you are able to see a picture in which paper clips are joined together to make a long chain a synthetic fiber is also a chain of small units joined together many such small units combine to form a large single unit called a polymer the word polymer comes from two greek words poly which means many and mer which means part or unit so a polymer is made of many repeating units polymers are also found in nature cotton is an example of a polymer known as cellulose cellulose is made up of a large number of glucose units and students you know about the glucose we get glucose from food students now we shall learn about types of synthetic fibers rayon nylon polyester acrylic let us first take rayon we all know that silk fiber is obtained from silk worm it was first found in china clothes 
made from silk fiber are very costly but we all get fascinated by its beautiful texture many attempts were made to produce silk artificially and scientists were successful in obtaining fiber which was similar to silk this fiber was obtained by chemical treatment of wood pulp the fiber was named rayon or artificial silk though it was obtained from natural sources that is wood it was the first man made fiber it is cheaper than silk and can be woven like silk fiber it can be dyed to variety of colors it is mixed with cotton to make bed sheets and with wool to make carpet next type of fiber that is synthetic or man made fiber is nylon let us know about nylon nylon is man made fiber made without using any natural raw material it was prepared from coal water and air in the year 1931 it was the first fully synthetic fiber now let us know about the characteristics of nylon fiber nylon fiber was strong elastic and light it was lustrous and easy to wash so it became very popular for making clothes nylon is used for making socks ropes tents toothbrushes car seat belts sleeping bags and curtains etc it is also used for making parachutes and ropes for rock climbing due to its strength a nylon thread is stronger than a steel wire students now we shall learn about third type of synthetic fiber that is polyester polyester is made up of the repeating units of a chemical called ester esters are the chemicals which give fruits their smell fabrics are sold by names like polycot polywool and terricot polycot is prepared by mixing polyester and cotton and polywool is a mixture of polyester and wool the fabric made from the fiber do not get wrinkled easily and is easy to wash terylene is a popular polyester it is made by mixing wool and cotton terylene is used in fabric industry for making sarees and other clothes students you must have seen bottles and jar made up of pet for storing food items and other materials at your home pet is very popular form of polyester it is used for making bottles utensils films and wires students cold drinks juice bottles that you all see are made with pet now let us learn about acrylic We all wear sweaters and use blankets in winters. Many of these are actually not made from natural wool. Instead, they are made from synthetic fiber which is similar to wool and is called acrylic. Wool obtained from natural sources is very expensive whereas acrylic is cheap and available in many colors. Let us now learn about characteristics of synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers are generally very strong. If we make thread or wire of synthetic fiber and cotton fiber, cotton fiber will break easily. It means if we pull two threads that are made up of synthetic fiber and the other which is made up of cotton fiber, the cotton thread will break easily. Clothes made up of synthetic fibers wrinkle less in comparison to clothes made with cotton fiber or natural fibers if we take two clothes one made with synthetic fiber other with the cotton fiber and put them in two buckets full with water we will observe that bucket with synthetic fiber cloth will have more water which means synthetic fibers absorb less water in comparison to cotton fibers and dry up quickly These clothes are light in weight. These clothes are more soft and clothes are not attacked by cloth moths. 
and due to this they are easy to maintain clothes made up of synthetic fibers are cheap and are easily available these are available in variety of colors and are durable students next information that we are going to get is about plastic can you tell which plastic items or articles you see at your home yes you see chairs buckets toys and many other articles which are made up of plastic plastic is also a polymer like the synthetic fiber and made with small units all the plastics do not have the same type of arrangement of units in some it is linear and in others it is cross linked plastics can be divided into two groups thermoplastic and thermosetting thermoplastics are those plastics which get deformed easily on heating and can be bent easily and are known as thermoplastics polythene and pvc that is polyvinyl chloride are some examples of thermoplastic these are used for making toys combs and containers at a large scale now we will talk about thermosetting plastic these plastics are those which when molded once cannot be softened by heating these are called thermosetting plastics two examples of thermosetting plastics are bakelite and melamine bakelite bakelite is a poor conductor of heat and electricity it is used for making electrical switches handles of the utensils etc melamine is fire resistant and can tolerate heat better than other plastics that is why it is used for making floor tiles kitchenware and as it is fire resistant it is used for making uniform that is suit for the firefighters do you know use of plastic now a days has become many folds whether we are at home or outside we see plastic materials everywhere let us now discuss the characteristics of plastics we all know that metals like iron get corroded or rusted very easily when left exposed to moisture and air but plastics do not react with water or air so it can be called non reactive as it does not get corroded so it is used for storing many kind of materials including chemicals we use buckets chairs combs and bottles made of plastic at home plastic is very soft strong durable and can be molded into different shapes and sizes and as it is cheaper than metals so it is widely used for making household articles or goods plastic is poor conductor of heat and electricity because of this property electrical wires have covering of plastic handles of screw driver and tester are made up of plastic handles of metallic utensils are also made with plastic that is a layer of plastic on the metallic handle due to these characteristics plastic is used widely plastic is also used in cars aircraft and spacecraft the reason for this is that plastic is lightweight now let us discuss about two forms of materials one type is biodegradable and the other one is non biodegradable a material which gets decomposed through natural processes such as action of bacteria is called biodegradable and a material which is not easily decomposed by natural processes is called non biodegradable examples of biodegradable materials are bags made up of cotton or jute and paper bags examples of non biodegradable materials or things are plastic and metallic materials now 
let us see a table in which type of waste and the time taken to degeneration of the waste has been shown type of waste and approximate time to degenerate has been shown in the first two columns first you can see peels of vegetable and fruits leftover food stuff etc and it takes 1 to 2 weeks to degenerate next is paper it takes 10 to 30 days to degenerate or decompose next one is cotton cloth which takes 2 to 5 months to decompose or degenerate next one is wood it takes 10 to 15 years to degenerate and the next one is woolen clothes it takes about a year to degenerate all these are examples of biodegradable material now next is tin aluminum and other metal canes and they take 100 to 500 years to degenerate and the last one is plastic bags and you can see that they take several years that is 500 to 1000 or more years to degenerate so we conclude metallic containers and plastic bags both are non biodegradables students now let us discuss how plastic is adversely affecting our environment we have increased the use of plastic in our day to day life and we generate large amount of plastic waste every day it has become a great problem to deal with the plastic waste and its disposal plastic takes large time to decompose we have already seen this when this plastic is eaten by birds and other animals it enters into their digestive tract and this way it is causing harm to birds and animals most of these birds and animals lose their lives when this plastic enters the water bodies aquatic animals that is those animals which live in water come in contact with this plastic and die after eating it industries are also generating huge amount of plastic waste which is dumped into the soil this causes soil pollution and it stops seepage of water into the soil students can you tell how can we solve this problem of plastic pollution we all know plastic waste has become a problem worldwide then what can we do to solve this problem whenever you go to market you bring things in the plastic bags so from today we can pledge that we will carry our own bag made up of clothes or jute or paper for dealing the problem of disposal of plastic we have to follow four r's the four r's as shown are reduce reuse recover recycle reduce means to use less reuse means to use again and again recover means to obtain again recycle means to put used objects and materials through a process so that they can be used again so students we will keep in mind these four r's to protect our environment first r we will limit the use of plastic as possible as we can second r if we have things made up of plastic such as polythene we will use them again and again third and fourth r we will reobtain them and recycle students it is better to recycle plastic waste most of the thermoplastics can be recycled let us now recapitulate that we have done till now man made fibers are called synthetic fibers synthetic fibers 
and plastics are made of very large units called polymer polymers are made up of many smaller units rayon is also called artificial silk polyester is a chemical which is made up of many repeating units called ester plastic is non reactive light strong cheap durable and bad conductor of electricity plastic waste is posing great threat to the environment now i will ask a few questions from you and i hope that you will be able to answer first question which of the following is or are made by man that is man made fibers nylon wool rayon cotton yes the answer are nylon and rayon both are man made fibers now next is a statement you have to tell whether it is correct or incorrect terrelin is a natural fiber and the answer is it is incorrect terrelin is a synthetic fiber next fill in the blank cotton is what polyester polymer acrylic chemical cotton is a polymer which is also called cellulose and cellulose is made up of repeating units of glucose now the next question name the unit in polyester and the answer is ester what are the two types of thermosetting plastic yes the answer is right first type is bakelite and the second type is melamine bakelite is used for making electrical switches and handles of utensils whereas melamine is used for floor tiles and uniform for firefighters now the next question give two examples of thermoplastic and yes the answer is polythene and pvc polyvinyl chloride next question which of the following will take maximum time to decompose or degenerate options are woolen clothes wood plastic bag cotton clothes and the answer is plastic bag will take maximum time to decompose now the next question what are four r's and the answer is first r is reduce second r is reuse third r is recover and fourth r is recycle next question and the last question what can be the alternative to plastic bags and yes the answer is we can use cotton or jute bags instead of using plastic bags with this we finish our chapter and i hope that you have understood the chapter well now go through the exercise given in your textbook and i also hope that you will follow the four r's to protect our environment thank you students